And this morning, I saw a fox. And we see a mountain goat up here. This place is rad. I was just looking at the mountain goat here. Swung this way, and I've got more help. All right, I've got a cow, so they're still there. Listen, in the last 12 hours, we've seen two bull moose in velvet. We saw a herd of elk. We saw a small bull in that herd. Heard a big bull in the herd. Heard that. And this morning, I saw a fox. And we see a mountain goat up here. I was just looking at the mountain goat here. Swung this way, glassed a few spots, and then glassed up here, and I've got more elk. One of them is definitely a bull. I just picked up his rack. We expect to get into him today, so it's gonna be a great day. Another one. I should have brought some wax back here. I'm gonna have to dirt wax it. Oh, one of those elk, the lightest one, he was just out in a great opening with the sun shining on him. He's a, he's a big bull. He's really nice. Oh yeah. You probably wanna know what we're gonna do, huh? They're still feeding around up there. It's about nine o'clock, but they seem to have settled down into an area of timber where it would make sense. That's where they're gonna spend most of the day. And we're gonna have to figure it out once we get up there anyways. It's probably a two hour hike. Again, we'll filter water along the way, get up there and figure out what's going on, try and make a play. So we're just about to crest our, our target ridge, which is on Contour, probably a little bit above where they were across this little draw over here. They're probably gonna be 500 yards or less. It's pretty much just like up in here, I believe. Yeah. So that open rocky area. Yeah. If you go up the lower left side of it yeah. to like the thickest, tallest clump of trees right on the edge. There's like a reddish tree to the right of that. So in that thick clump, okay. I think it's where I saw them. Might maybe the little group right below that. There's a cow out. The higher one I think is a spike. It's definitely, yeah, definitely a bull. Looks like a little spike. This could be that from, from last night. We've spotted, we've counted five of them. Four cows and a spike. And from the bottom, I think we only counted four, including the big bull, which we have not seen yet. That's why we're still sitting here. We've taken a little nap and we woke up to like some thumbs and bugles. Started glassing. The big boy showed himself and he's nice. And then there's a surprise, like satellite, that's a really nice five point. But it seems like they're making their way over across the hillside, which plays into our favor, I think. We can drop down here and cut up and hopefully cut them off and ambush them. So we're gonna get our packs on and get moving. Country. We need to be patient. 
location right now, see where the bulls are at, what they're going to do, and figure out if we have a chance of, of sneaking down there, which is slim. All right, it's cold. The wind is cold anyways, so we got our jackets on. Something spooked those cows. I don't think it was us or the wind. I don't know. Maybe they caught a swirl up there, but they just kind of, they busted a few times and then stopped, ate a little bit and then busted up. We still haven't seen those bulls again, and it seemed like earlier they were below, so I think they're bedded in the timber below. Perfect chance, I think, for us to get in between.
It is fun hunting elk. God, they're just so tricky. I mean, we got pinned back there and then he got up. We weren't sure for a minute or two. And then he just started walking straight away, screaming for his cows. I wouldn't be surprised if they're all joined up down there in the timber. Um, but we went over about where he did. Alicia heard him bugle as we were cresting the ridge. And then we just dipped down a little bit more and he bugled again. So he's down here. There's no way, absolutely no chance for us to get at him from here without getting picked off and totally blowing it. Plus, our packs are about 500 yards this way. They have everything in them because we weren't even going to cross this ridge. So, thankfully, the second best thing that could have happened happened. The best thing didn't happen yet, but the second best thing is they're going down we have to go down anyways so we're going to get our packs hoof it down get in the trees try this again with a little bit of cover he's willing to talk that's a start we just got to get him pissed off enough and i hope he's still separated from his cows but i bet no one having seen elk in open country before they're really good about knowing where to meet up and doing all that stuff so I'm gonna assume he has them with him. Love hunting elk. We came here to get on some elk and we got on some elk. It seemed like down here, within 100 yards at one point, I had a perfect setup. If he would have had any desire to come check me out, he could have just walked around a little bluff, 60 yards down the hill, but I couldn't get him to do it. It was fun hucking rocks down there, making noise. I'm just trying to sound like elk. Let's go. Alicia thought she might have heard a distant bugle the first time, but nothing certain, so I don't know. Might as well get another at you. Do you have one ready? Of course you do. It's your boss. Well, we're getting our high shoes ready. We worked our way down the mountain few calls here and there, and uh, nothing. From all that racket to uh, dead silent. So, I don't know, elk hunting, a lot of the time is a big mystery. Yeah, 
I just, like I said before, I'd like to know what he did. But I don't. Unless we glass him up from the trail or camp. I'm not gonna really know, but there's still good ground between here and camp. Um, so we'll see. Camp, sweet camp. Got about 15 minutes of shooting light left. There's no elk to go after. So we're gonna glass a little bit. It's it for today, I know that, unless an elk comes strolling down the willows here. All you can ask for, no complaints. I really wish it happened, like big time. I mean, we were inside of 200 yards for a really long time. I wasn't about to wait the rest of the day only to get fucked by the wind. So we made our play, and uh, like a lot of plays we make, it was probably five, 10 minutes away from being really good. We just didn't get close enough before the bull got out of his bed and couldn't convince him to stick around, so. Um, but we'll take it. We just want elk encounters because that is the best way to learn, and we learned some stuff today, so. Thanks for watching, really appreciate it. Stick around. We have at least eight more days of elk hunting and we plan on getting it done. We're all loaded up. We're gonna hit the trail, head back towards the trailhead. Pretty confident that herd we were on yesterday was headed that way. So we're gonna try and get into them on the way, but we can't waste a whole lot of time diving into timber. So we're just gonna hike, do some calling. If we can get on them, that'll be awesome. If not, we're gonna be out of here and make plans for next time. We'll be back uh, around the 23rd of September somewhere. Maybe not here, but somewhere to find some elk. Well, we're back. We're gonna get this thing uncovered, get all of our gear properly stored, and then we're just gonna check out some other areas with our eyes on the way back. It's a long ways to the truck. We made it back. We're heading home.